the, the source imagery of this series is effectively created by drones, by robots. So there are uh, 15 cameras mounted on the roof of every Google Street View car, and each camera takes uh, one picture every five meters. And a piece of software automatically stitches those images together. Every time an image is uh, created, its, uh, its coordinates, its GPS coordinates are, are matched to a database that can then allow uh, us to, to navigate Street View online. There are hundreds of forums that discuss all sorts of issues about sex workers. And I'm just using them to find the locations. I'm not really concerned. I'm not really bothered what their motivation is. And the next challenge is if, if the Street View cars visited those locations. Um, and generally they did in Europe, certainly. I mean, there's no narrative underpinning to this work. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not interested in narrative. I'm interested in seriality, you know, in the, the ongoing sequence of images and the, poss the possibility that they will continue forever in a way which kind of matches that cliche that of prostitution being the oldest career in history. So No Man's Land exists in a number of parts. It's not just frame prints on a wall. Um, there's also uh, giant billboard prints that are almost at a scale of one to one. Um, and there's also an animation, which is a kind of road movie, almost, a kind of drive-by that uses Street View to, to animate uh, the locations. And there are a series of print-on-demand books, which kind of chart the progress of the cars as they make their way through Europe and the world. Um, and then there's also a soundtrack, so a kind of um, a soundtrack composed of birdsong recorded by amateurs in the regions where the women are photographed and uh, uploaded online and I've kind of made my own sort of remix of, uh, of all these bird songs. I think traditionally if you were to approach a subject the approach of a photographer would be probably to try and humanize the figures in some way or to try and you know evoke some sort of personal story but actually I think that the, deta the detachment of the Street View cars here is perfect for the subject. And I think that what this series can do is talk about the quantity, you know, the volume of an issue 